In this video, we will try to understand how to find out resultant in magnitude direction and its position with respect to a certain point in case of parallel force system. Now the arrangement of the parallel force system is as shown over here. The forces of 200 Newton and 400 Newton they are acting in the upward direction whereas the forces 100 Newton and 300 Newton they are acting in the downward direction. Now these are the bows notation that is A, B, C, D and E. So A, B represents this 200 Newton force, B, C represents this 400 Newton force, C, D represents this 100 Newton force but it is acting in the downward direction, D, E represents 300 Newton force acting in the downward direction. Now the space diagram scale that we have chosen over here is 1 centimeter is equal to 1 meter. So you can see this is 1 meter represented by the 1 centimeter. This is 2 meter represented by the 2 centimeter. This is 1 meter represented by the 1 centimeter. The vector diagram scale that we have chosen is 1 centimeter is equal to 100 Newton. So just now we have seen that AB represents 200 Newton force. So 200 divided by 100 that is 2 centimeter. So here we have drawn a vector force vector of 2 centimeter representing represented by AB. So vector AB is representing this 200 Newton force. BC is representing 400 Newton force. So 400 divided by 100 that is 4 centimeter. So this BC length or vector is 4 centimeter 1 2 3 and 4 similarly CD is 100 Newton force so 100 divided by 100 that is 1 centimeter but it is acting in the downward direction so vector CD will be in the downward direction from C so that is indicated by this blue line similarly DE is representing 300 Newton force so 300 divided by 100 so that is also in the downward direction from D so 1, 2 and 3. So DE is vector, DE is in the downward direction. So our starting point is A and our ending point is E. And from A to E we are going in the upward direction. So resultant will be acting in the upward direction and its magnitude will be this 2 centimeter. The length AE is 2 centimeter multiplied by the scale that is 100 Newton. Now we locate any point O which is known as the pole. So now we have to draw the polar diagram. Now join O with C, D, E, A and B. Now in the space of A, this is known as the space of A, this is known as the space of B, this is known as space of C, this is known as space of D and this is known as the space of E. In the space of A, we will draw a line parallel to O, A. So this is the line which is parallel to this OA. Similarly in the space of B we will draw a line parallel to OB. So this is the line OB and it is to that particular line we have drawn the line in the space of B. Similarly in the space of C we will draw a line parallel to OC. Similarly in the space of D we will draw a line parallel to this OD. And in the space of E, we'll draw a line parallel to this OE. So our first line was this particular, which was parallel to OA, and the last line was parallel to OE. Now extend these lines. So as you can see over here, we have extended these particular lines. Wherever they meet, that is the point of action or of this particular resultant or line of action of the resultant, that is R. So resultant R is acting in the upward direction, that is indicated by this AE that is from starting point towards end point and this is the point of action or line of action of this resultant R. Now measure the distance between 200 Newton force and this resultant. So if you measure this then it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 5.5. So distance x is 5.5 meter. Now we will find out resultant in magnitude. So we have seen that resultant is given by AE. So length AE into scale, length AE is 2 cm, scale is 100, so 2 into 100 that is 200 Newton. So this is the magnitude of the resultant, direction is it is acting in the upward direction and its location or position is x is equal to 5.5 meter from the 200 Newton force. So in this way we can find out magnitude, direction and position of the resultant in case of parallel force system. Thank you very much for watching.